Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Learn now from your learning partner. Today, we're going to learn about how to create calculated columns like calculated tables in Power BI using DAX function, so please watch the complete video so that you don't miss out on your learning. In the previous video, we had explained what is DAX function and how to use it with one example of DAX function. If you have not watched that video, then click on the above link. If you're new to Power BI, don't worry, we have created a complete watch list that will guide you step by step, where we explain everything you need to know. In this video, we will be creating calculated columns like calculated tables, calculated columns becoming part of your data set. We're gonna use the date dis function to calculate the difference in days between the order date and the ship date in the orders table. And we're gonna name the column days to ship. So to get started, what we're gonna do, we can do this from the ribbon, or we can do it by right-clicking in the fields pane. So what we are gonna wanna do is we're gonna right-click on the orders table in the fields pane, and we're gonna select a new column. The same effect happens when we created a new table in our previous video. Were you in your formula bar, you get one column equal and in your fields pane, you have a column called column. At this moment, well we're gonna name it days to ship. So in the formula bar, we're gonna double click the word column and we're gonna type days to ship. And then we're gonna navigate to after the equal sign, we're using the date dis function. So we're gonna start typing da. And when we see it on the list, we should stop typing. You want to avoid typos wherever possible. In this case, we're going to use my down arrow to highlight the date diff in the list. And we're going to use our tab key to tab it in. Again, just like with the calculated table right underneath the formula bar, you're seeing the syntax of the date diff function. The first argument would be date 1, the second one would be date 2, and the third would be interval. It's waiting for the date. One argument right now, which is why that's in bold. So we're gonna start typing orders for the name of the table and we're gonna arrow down in the list until the order date is highlighted and we're gonna tab it in and we want the entire date. So a subsequent menu comes up, the date is already selected, and we're gonna tab that in. Now we're gonna use a comma, which separates the arguments. You'll notice now that date 2 is in bold, as that's the argument it's looking for. We want the order ship date for that second date. So we're gonna start typing orders again, and we're gonna just down arrow until ship date is highlighted and tab it in. And again, we want it to assess the full date. So we're gonna tab in date and we're gonna type a comma. The interval, we want the difference in dates in his days, so day is already highlighted. We're gonna tab that in and we're gonna press enter. We need to give it a few seconds, while it's doing the calculation, and now as you look all the way to your right, the last column in the orders table is days to ship is added. In the interval of days. We created the days to ship column by right-clicking on the orders table and choosing a new column. That's for this video. In the next video, we will create a highest sales value with their ranking, so stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more Power BI tutorials and tips. Thank you for watching.